we got mail what's in there do you want to look inside what do you think it is let's take a look And there's something else. Take it. Take it. Yeah, it's a bowl by Julie's K9. They also sent this Kong to us because they want us to review and compare the two balls. Anyway, I think Rancho has already chosen. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the two balls in another episode. And this video is going to be about this harness. This is the Julius K9 IDC Long Walk Harness. And the guys over at Julius K9 asked us to test it and to do a review of it. Uh, let me just say right off the bat, we're not sponsored by Julius K9. Uh, they just sent this harness to us after watching our video about harnesses. If you still haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. Now back to this harness. So of course we need to put it to a test first. And because it's called the long walk harness, we're going to take Rancho for a long walk. And then we're going to tell you what we think of it.
All right, we are back. We've actually had this harness for a couple of weeks now and had a chance to test it properly. So I can now tell you what we think of it. So let's go over the pros and cons of the harness. All in all, our experience with it has been very positive and that's why we're gonna start with the pros. So the first pro is definitely its Y-shaped front with the center of the Y resting on the chest bone so that if your dog pulls, the pressure is on the bone, not on the soft tissue. If you want to know more about why this type of harness is better, watch our other video and you're gonna find out. Pro number two, it's easy to put on and to take off. You know, you don't need to pull it over your dog's leg. It has these two buckles, one on each side, and it's super easy to put on and to take off. Rancher really appreciates this because he doesn't like having his harnesses put on. Pro number three, all of the straps are adjustable. So as long as you choose the right size, you can adjust the harness to perfectly fit your dog which is great and not all harnesses have this. Another pro is that it has several of these elastic elements that can react to both your and your dog's motion and they can reduce the impact of your dog's tugging. I haven't seen anything like that in any other harness, which is an, it's a big pro for me. Uh, pro number five is the handle on top, which comes in handy in situations when you need to control your dog quickly. And at the same time, when you're not using it, it lies flat and it shouldn't get stuck on something in the forest. And the last pro are its reflective elements that provide extra safety in the dark. Now onto the cons. So for Rancho, the biggest issue I find with this harness is the width of the chest strap. Rancho may not look like it because of his long coat, but he's actually a very narrow chested dog. His chest is deep and at its lowest point, it is very narrow, which means that there's not a lot of space between his front legs. And the strap that goes between his legs is quite wide. And if it was just a tiny bit wider, it would rub against his front legs. So if you have a deep and narrow chested breed, be careful. Rancho has the L size and between his legs, the strap is around eight centimeters wide. Next con is the size of the top piece that sits on your dog's back. Uh, it seems to me that it could be a little smaller, a little less bulky, because especially on a hot summer day, uh, it can definitely create some extra heat. Con number three is that the straps that connect the top piece to the chest piece don't have any padding. I know that this harness is not meant for sports such as canny cross or bike touring where the dog has to pull and really lean into the harness but still I would appreciate a little bit of padding on those straps for some extra comfort. And one last little thing that I've noticed is that its Velcro straps tend to collect all kinds of grass seeds and burrs, but I mean, this is just a minor problem. It's nothing important. All right, that would be all. If you're thinking of buying harness for longer walks and for hiking with your dog, I think this harness is definitely worth considering. Uh, just be sure to take accurate measurements of your dog uh, using a tape measure and follow the size chart for this harness. A big thank you to Julius K9 for letting us test this harness. And yeah, I hope this video was useful. And if you have any more questions, ask in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.